Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the same topic, Webex Control Hub. But in this lecture, I'm going to discuss about how we can add the users manually, how we can uh, provide the license or we can edit the license and how we can uh, give the administrator or like if that user is an admin, I can't say like a like a full admin rights, but we can say we can give them a user admin rights, device admin rights, or maybe the reporting access. So how we can provide those administrator roles as well. So we are gonna discuss about all these things in detail. First, I'll add the user manually, and then we will move further to the licensing part and the administrator roles. So let me uh, log in on my uh, Webex. Here you can see I'm already logged in on my Webex. So here you can see we have a tab under the management which says users. So once you click on this tab that is users, you will be able to see all the users in your environment. If this is LDAP enabled, you will see all the all the users in this in this particular window. But let's say you wanted to add manually, you wanted to manually add the users, then how you can add it. So first you need to go to this manage users. Let's click on that. And now here it says manually add users. You can add up to 25 users manually. Or if you have a CSV added CSV file or you can add it here or you do, you just wanted to edit it, you can do it. Or if this is synced with the LDAP, as of now you can see it's in inactive. But if it's in active, then it will it will show you everything is active. So how you can add it manually? So let's click on this one manually add users which says add up to 25. So uh, I'm just gonna put basic information. So let's say this one is saying first name, last name and the email address. So let me just give this first name a uh, test or let's say test and here I can say one. So this would be the test one. Email address would be let's say test one at the rate abc.inc. This would be the first person I'm gonna add. Okay, so that's why it says one slash 25 items. So you can add 25 users max. Okay, so let me put the another one as well. So it will show both test two and here let me give test two at abc.inc and add it. Okay, so here you can see both email IDs are there and two users I have added and now let me click next. So here you can see after clicking on next, it is asking you to assign license for the users. And that's what it says. Select the services that you want to provide to your users. So as of now, you can see basic messaging would be provided to everyone, right? Now, if you want to give advanced messaging, right? So as of now, it says one of 10 assigned. So if I click on this one, that means this advanced messaging license is provided to these users. Right, this is for the messaging part. Now let me go to the meetings one. Meetings, it says basic space meetings is already there. It's obsolete now, but yeah, as a as a trial one, it would be there. And under the Webex space meeting, so we need to give this Webex assistant for meetings. So advanced space messaging we can give, but this is obsolete as well. That means this obsolete license is no longer valid, right? So there is no point. So in the Webex space meeting, you can give this Webex assistant for meetings or real time translations if you wanted to give. And this one, this is my website, actually Webex meeting suite if you wanted to give or we can leave it. It depends on us what all are the license we need to provide. Then after that, we have a calling thing. Under the calling, you can see subscription. It says call on Webex. So this option would be the default call on Webex because that is one on one call and this is non PSTM right now if you have a call manager through which you are making a call that means the hybrid calling what we were discussing about uh, this in the previous lecture we need to enable this one to check the hybrid calling we need to enable it right so if you have this thing then you can do this thing like register to call manager or if you wanted to give webex calling things webex calling you can do that as well so as of now, let's say I'm just saying maybe register to call manager or maybe I can just leave it as the same call on Webex. You can give this one as well. That means the hybrid calling. But let's say 
as of now let's just leave it as a default call on webex one-on-one -on -one call and non-pstn let me click next so here uh, it says added user test one this is the first name last name this is the email address and these all are the licenses you provide because this is just a review that's where we are messaging you provided basic messaging advanced messaging under the meeting we have basic space meetings real-time translations webex assistant for meetings or the calling we are using the default call on webex so now let me click add users so after clicking on this add users it says two users added let's click on close and here you will be able to see both of the users test one and test two users are showing added here right so now my next part would be how we can edit these license which i just provided right i was adding those users and then it came to the licenses part but if i wanted to change the license after adding the users then we i can simply go to this one test one and scroll it down till the licenses part and here you can see these are the licenses which i provided to this particular user now i can add those licenses even i can remove it or i can add another license as well let's say i'm gonna remove this advanced messaging from this test one okay so here you can see added licenses and here under the messaging we have this advanced messaging i can uncheck it and save it that means this advanced messaging license would be removed from this particular user that is test one and here you can see it's just showing basic messaging and if i go to the previous one that is test two you will be able to see both basic as well as advanced message right so this would be the licenses part where you can added the license after adding the users or maybe i can say you can even edit the license if you are like ldap synchronized everything all the users are already there and you wanted to change the licensing then you can go to that particular user click on this edit license and then you can edit all the licenses which are there in your organization right now we have a next part that is administrator roles let's suppose this test two okay we have two users test one and test two let's suppose i wanted to give test one user as an admin rights like full admin rights but only but i just wanted to give them a read only right admin right would be there but just the read only then what i need to do scroll it down to this administrator roles here it says none I'll click on this one and here you can see organizational and it says organization admin that means you are the admin for that particular organization and if I click on this one organization admin by default it will go to this full admin rights but let's suppose someone is new in an organization that like maybe he or she joined maybe just a month back or maybe 15 days back and you don't want to mess up anything right now so uh not right now i can say you don't want to mess up anything uh but yeah if that person is a new user then you can just give them a read only admin so that he or she can check everything by read only rights so here you can see full admin contains user management company policy templates analytics reports licenses upgrades and the assignment of roles and read only rights that means read only view of the portal no changes will be accepted that means the portal will look like the same like this one there would be no change but the rights would be read only right so to the test one i am gonna give read only rights and then i'll click on save okay successfully updated users role and if i go back to the users under the test one let me see what all are the rights this particular user is having so you can see and under the administrator roles he's having read only rights and the webex read only admin right now here comes the next part let me go to the test two and i wanted to give him the rights for the not for the administrator but maybe other right so under the administrator roles it is showing none let me click on this one and here you will be able to see again the same things organizational functional services right so to the test one i gave him this organizational admin and read only right so now 
for this particular user, I'm not going to give organization admin. Because under the organization full admin, he will be having all the access. Now I wanted to give the functional roles. That is whether if that person is a support admin, then I can give the support admin right. Support admin contains, as here you can see, support admin will be having access to analytics and reports and support metrics and notifications, but not the user management, company policy, licenses, upgrades, and the roles assignment. So if anyone is having support admin rights, he or she cannot provide the roles to other guys, right? Under this user and device admin, you can see that particular person is having user management, device management, and the licenses and upgrade part. So these three things would be showing up here on the left pane, like user part would be there, device part would be there, and the licensing part would be there, right? Then we have device admin. Under the device admin, that particular user is having the rights for device management only, not the user company policy analytics and any other, just the device management. If you give compliance officer access, then that would be access to activity reports. And this one WebEx calling detailed call history API access. This will allow collection of WebEx detailed call history reports using the REST API. And another one is advanced troubleshooting access. That means to the access to the live meetings like this one. Access to admin join and live meeting page. If you are giving access for this advanced troubleshooting access, then that person can join the meeting, which is particularly going at that particular point of time, right? So if you click on this organizational admin, then you can see Support admin, user and device admin, device admin is auto-populated like it is automatically enabled. And now if you wanted to give compliance officer advanced troubleshooting WebEx calling detail history to the same guy, then you can just do a tick mark here and then save it. Now it will say test two will be successfully updated. Successfully updated users roles. Okay, let's go back to the use test one and test two. And here you can see it says read only admin, WebEx read only admin, test one. And test two is saying full admin, advanced troubleshooting, or the other one. Let's let's check it out. Let me scroll it down. And here you can see full admin, advanced troubleshooting access, WebEx site admin. If I open it, it will come to the same page where I gave all the access to this particular user. Right? So under this particular user, we are under the summary part, but we have other things as well. That is general meetings, calling, messaging, hybrid services, devices, witcast. So everything is there. If you wanted to update or you wanted to check anything for the particular user, you can go to that particular user, go to the administrator role tab, or maybe the licensing part, you will be able to see only licenses, right? Now here, this one, if you wanted to go to administrator, you can go this one. But here we have a different parts as well. General meetings under the meetings, you will be able to see if if, if anything is configured. It says basic space meeting license. That's why nothing is showing up for the calling. You have Cisco WebEx SIP address, the SIP address. And if you have integration with Microsoft Teams as well, then we have this messaging part. It will show messaging template like uh, whether the uh, block file preview and download is on or here like whether you allow a bit more gst car sharing like all other things whether those things are allowed for this particular user or not everything is coming up here like under the hybrid services it says calendar service whether it is integrated or not it is allowed or not if it is allowed what would be the calendar type microsoft exchange google calendar as of now you can see status is showing account not activated then we have this tab device, device settings, Witcast, like if you have any other devices set up. So this is all about how you can add the users, how you can edit the license, and how you can provide the administrator roles to the test one or test two, which whatever we added already now, right? And in the next lecture, I'm gonna discuss about these reports, not the troubleshooting actually. I'm going to discuss about the reports, how we can fetch the reports, what all are the templates we can 
we can see uh, like by default templates, what we can see on this particular templates, which are like here, you can see meeting active host, meeting details, meetings usage summary, audio usage, like all these templates are already there by default. And we can fetch the reports by using these templates. So I'm gonna discuss about this reports part and then troubleshooting part in my upcoming lectures. So yeah, I hope you really like this video. If you really like it, then please hit like, share and subscribe my channel. And if you want to schedule some time with me, then you can go to this link topme.io slash technical venture. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.